Welcome back guys to another episode of my Factorio Lazy Bastard Let's Play. So yeah, in the last episodes we were busy building like all of our circuit thingies up here and they are all now up and running. At least a, at least a little bit. Definitely, yeah. Uh, we need more plastic for, for the red circuits, for example. We need more copper and more iron for the green circuits here. But, um, yeah. Actually, copper for the red circuits is enough. At least, at least something. And at the current state, we have enough sulfuric acid. Maybe. Probably not. But, um, yeah. The, the thing that I want to do now is uh, essentially speed modules because we have only so much space down here for our high-tech science that we have to do the speed modules somewhere else and I think that's also a good idea to do them somewhere else. Um, yeah, so let's do just that. Uh, let's see, how many do we actually need? We need one a second yeah one a second should be about about right so we would need like 15 assembly machines let's do 16 just to be sure 16 assembly machines or eight on two sides i'm thinking about the little space over here which might be enough i think in a past episode i already said that i don't want to really use that space but I think that may be just perfect for what we for what we need now. Yeah, these resources will won't be even close to enough anyway. So yeah. Oh yeah, this is kind of a problem over here, obviously. But I mean, energy should be close to enough at least. Oh yeah, it is definitely enough. Uh, let me also take a quick look on our. Yeah, we need petroleum for these. Yeah, we definitely need more petroleum for them. I mean, this over here seems to be working. Yes, they are definitely doing something. But this is probably not enough. I mean, we are having quite a bit of light oil in here anyway, so... Yeah, let's see where that goes. But for now, our eight assembly machines over here. I mean, we definitely do have enough space for that. Or 16 or eight per side. Let's do just something like that. This is just about perfect. Some, some long-handed guys in here as well. Um, yeah, and boop and boop, and then we need, did I just clear the wrong blueprint? No, I didn't. Great. Ah, uh, yeah, because I don't want to <laughs> clear the other blueprint, obviously, of the solar array, but this was just like a thing I did with multiple solar array thingies. All right, this is four, so we need these guys now four times, two, three, and four just fits perfectly like that can get rid of these guys as well down there all right this looks about perfect we can also pop down another guy over here but we can't because we don't have any great i want to have um yeah at least 10 of these guys that's fine all right now we need to hook them in, obviously, so yeah, this is definitely going to be a bit of, of a painful situation. We want some of these and some of these. Ugh, this is so far away from being enough but yeah i mean we also don't have the, the the most resource mining obviously this could all be a lot bigger 
but uh, yeah. Maybe in the future. But definitely not today. Okay. Breaking force, why not? And then we are almost out of all the production science pack research. So we definitely have to get high tech going here. Uh, yeah, you are going to produce speed modules. At probably an absolute snail's pace for now, but ah uh, yeah, better than nothing. Better than nothing, that's for sure. Uh, yes, now let's also bring them onto the bus here somewhere. There is not one lane over here, but it seems like we have like a lane over here. Let's just use like the most outer lane over there. That could definitely work. Yeah, exactly this one. All right. Yeah, we definitely have to find some space through here, but that uh, looks like it could work. I mean, yeah, I guess not too bad. I can already see a couple here. But yeah, obviously it's still far from enough and this is just going to produce a, a greater problem everywhere else. Yeah, but I think the biggest issue here is definitely currently the plastic, which is at least holding back the advanced circuit production. And this is essentially nothing what's coming through here. I mean, we're taking half of there and half of there and there's not a lot of it's like over from that obviously but it is how it is I guess yeah so just making a bigger conversion thing over there is definitely something we have to do pretty soon but for now we have our guys here going so that's pretty pretty sweet So yeah, let's just go on. Yeah, exactly, we need seven of these guys. I mean, we already have everything on the bus except the copper cables. So the copper cables are the, the little issue here for now. So we need 30 copper cables per second, 30. And we can produce four a second. So that's like, 30 divided by 4 gives us 7.5. Yeah, we can maybe do something a little a little special, I guess. We could make something along these lines maybe. I mean, that's nothing that I have tried before, but Something like that could potentially work, I think. All right, so then the copper cables would be already there. We can throw like the rest on a double thing in the middle. Somehow that has to be, that is definitely something that I can figure out. With like the same thing mirrored to the other side, obviously. All right, and another input. We would need like another guy for the output over here and over here. Something uh, here they are, something along like this and this. I think that actually could work pretty nicely. Uh, yeah, we need energy, obviously. Yeah, I think I, I think I really like that. So now that's four, we need 14 in total. That's not really working, obviously. Oops, 14, yeah. So this is like four, this would be eight, 
12. Fourteen. Yeah, why not? One, two, three, four, five. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, that could work actually. So let's bring a copper in. We have to bring this onto this belt right here we can do pretty much uh, something like this because I don't want to bring like two copper belts in and we can also take that and rotate that yeah that might make some more sense actually okay now we're talking yeah, copper obviously is like the total opposite side here. Um, yeah, but that uh, works, definitely. Yeah, we need to do like one belt shared for batteries and speed modules. So, yeah, that's the, the belt like right there. So speed modules would be like that. Okay, and the batteries. The batteries have to come quite a long way, obviously, but that's manageable. Uh, yeah, now these are all the right direction, great. Oh yeah, but the processing units are already backing up quite a bit, which is looking pretty awesome down here. And like these full belts are definitely pretty satisfying. But yeah, they don't stay like that for long, obviously. Yeah, and then last but not least, the processing units. All right, insert a capacity. Yeah, then we can start very soon actually with the stuff that we need for the rocket silo, I think. So that's pretty great. So yeah, now this should start working, I guess. We can cut that off right here. And these right there, so we can just build it like this. Oh yeah, that looks actually pretty nice, I think. Apart from the horrid, horrible power pole placement over here, but you know, that's just that's just how it is, I, I guess. And we already have like another space free over here. That's just about. About perfect, and we are only 30 minutes into the episode. I really feel pretty productive now. Oh, and there's our first high tech science, I guess. So that's all there and working. I mean, it's not the, not the fastest, obviously, but it is something. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, but we have to do something about our pipe thing up here. That's for sure. I mean, this is an issue. This cannot stay this way because we we would need about at least twice the amount of pipes, I think, which uh, calls for some spaghetti, I think, because we don't have uh, that much space to work with up here. 
like at all. We don't have uh, not space at all. So I mean, we can throw. Yeah, that doesn't do a whole lot. Yeah, let's do something like this. That's like our, our first guy right there with the output here. Um, then we can have another guy right here. These both can potentially output under that belt. Another one right there. This looks about perfect, I think. Oh yeah, really nice. I really love that. That's um, some good spaghetti up here. And the best thing about it is that it actually works. Yeah, like spaghetti that works is really awesome. At least I think it works. I mean, these two are working. I'm always a bit unsure how this works, like when they put onto like the underground belt directly, but that seems to work really well. Yeah, I think it's sort of have a problem with these actually. But yeah, it looks like they are almost getting to the bottom here and this will just be a matter of time now until they get there. Which is definitely pretty awesome. And also the first high-tech science is lining up up here. And this will, yeah, now they are completely backing up. So this will bring much more science packs again. Yeah, copper is actually not an issue. It's like actually full here, but iron isn't even backing up. It's too bad. So well, down here it's actually fine because we are yeah, yeah we are using the iron from there still. So maybe we have to do some reallocation. We could do some input priority up here. So now it should take way less iron from that belt here, which is pretty nice. Because, I mean, looking at this thing, this doesn't really work a whole lot. Most of these are just completely backed up, so they don't really work. And here only, like, the coal thing is, is gone. Yeah, I mean, coal is still kind of a bit of an issue over here. Yeah, this already looks uh, a lot better, I think. And this hopefully brings in much more iron now. Yeah, we also don't get a lot of iron from the steel overflow because we have like this thing and this thing with the output priority so steel always has the priority but we are splitting off if we don't need a steel but we really need a steel currently i mean they are not all 100 percent working but overall we we really need the steel like where is all the steel even going i don't know like over there to the robot production a bit Over here, oh yeah, solar panels are taking up lots of steel. Oh, this dude looks like a little bit in trouble. All right, but I received my uh, my row ports, which I wanted to place somewhere. So yeah, now there is a little bit more output down here, I think. 
I wanted to put that over here. I mean, it's probably not like the biggest change that we just did, but it. Oh well, yeah, that definitely it definitely helped a bit there. Yeah, we are making like two point nine thousand electronic circuits a minute here, and ten thousand copper cables a minute. And we are currently. Sitting at around 45 signs a minute, which is absolutely awesome. Like this is already most of the way there to 1000 signs a minute, I guess. <coughs> oh yeah, yeah, we definitely need more red and for that we need more everything we need more yeah we need even more green circuits we need more plastics hmm. but these are all issues that we have to solve in another episode so until then thanks for watching see you all then bye bye